Good morning guys, this is my breakfast. I was going to do fasted cardio, but then I got on my phone and I was doing some work on Instagram, just like, you know, content creating stuff. So I started to get starving and I didn't want to do 30 minutes absolutely starving. I don't want to burn my muscle for energy. So I have steel cut oats here, which you saw I added protein chia seeds for healthy fats and digestion and two tablespoons of almond or no cashew butter. So I'm gonna have this seasoned with stevia, and then I'm gonna take this bad boy. It's Digest Gold Digestive Enzyme, but I get the one with, with probiotics as well, so I don't have to buy two different supplements, and I just get this right at Vitamin Shop. I actually have it on auto delivery every two weeks. So I'm gonna eat this, take my Digest Gold, and then put some of my sunscreen on. I start my day with this, Frey. Protect Me Moisturizer and Sunscreen, SPF 30, amazing. And I have my heart rate monitor here, all ready to go. I'm gonna do some sweet sweat along with my heart rate monitor and I will show you what supplements I take before my cardio. All right, so I have a couple things going on here. I am taking two shakers to do cardio because my gallon does not fit on the Stairmaster. There's no place for it. So I have one shaker filled with CLA plus carnitine. This is a non-stimulant, non-caffeine based fat burner. It has CLA and L-carnitine, great for fat loss. And then I have BCAA shredded. Um, this has uh, L-carnitine in it. So I have two doses of L-carnitine and then BCAAs in here just to support my muscle and recovery. And that's what's in my shaker for cardio. I am gonna wear my heart rate monitor and I have my sweet sweat here. I'm going to put my sweet sweat on my stomach and then put my waist trimmer on. I'm gonna head out to my cardio room and do 30 minutes on the stairs. And I wanna do a little update. I'm actually gonna show you my vitamins. I wanted to show you this too, what I took right after breakfast. Fish oil, every single day, I take this three times a day breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I take zinc because I am anemic and I need some zinc. Vitamin D3 to help with bones and your immunity. It actually really helps you stay healthy. So I just take one, one um, vitamin D3. I take three of these three times a day. So with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I take three tablets. I have potassium because I am in deficient. Oh, I am deficient in potassium, and then magnesium. I read and I heard that magnesium like helps the potassium. I don't know, go into your system. I don't. I don't know. I was told to take it, so I do. That's that's the deal on that. So I'm gonna get to cardio, and then I'm gonna do a little, you know, talk with you guys to let you know what my weight is like after my Rebel House burger. You guys, it's the end of the night on Friday. Fridays are pretty uneventful for me. They're my rest day, so all I really do is work. So there's really nothing to show except me sitting on my computer. Um, uh, so yeah, that was that. But I just wanna give you a quick little update quick about my weight and what's going on after my Rebel House burger. So as you know, I had my favorite burger ever. I didn't have my normal Five Guys greasy fatty burger. And I was nervous because I was estimating the macros. I have no idea what the macros were. I did my best and today is Friday, so it's day two after my refeed and my weight just keeps going up. So I wish I didn't do it. It wasn't worth it to me at all, but it's okay. It's a learning experience. I'm just experimenting with my body. So the day of my burger, I was 108.8. The day after my burger, I was 110.0. And today, the second day after my burger, I was 10, nope, I was 110.6. And I was pretty bummed this morning because I uh, kicked ass yesterday in the gym. I had a killer workout, killer upper body workout, best in a very long time. And then I did my high intensity sprints. I did seven intervals. And usually every single time I have a burger, I am down. And then the second day I always hit a low of 107. And um, this time I am spiking up. I'm going the opposite direction. So uh, a little discouraging, but to be honest, the day after my burger, um, and I guess even today, I don't know about today, but the day after my burger, I felt like I looked better, to be honest. I felt like I looked softer, but in a good way. I wasn't, like sometimes when I wake up, I'm so lean that it's creepy looking. It's not, I don't like it. It's not like attractive to me. It's like very veiny and just creepy and I think that's not cute. So I actually preferred what I looked like yesterday, uh, ironically. 
but I'm getting a DEXA scan, which I'm excited about. The last time I got a DEXA scan was when I was doing my reverse diet. I was eating 300 carbs and uh, it was, I'm excited to compare the two, you know, reversing versus being this lean and prepping. I'm interested to see what my body fat's at, uh, where my muscle is, how much I lost, if I lost any, and if I fixed my muscle imbalances at all, if I improved at all, because I've really been working on that. So I wanna bring you for all of that. So I really wanna save time in this video for tomorrow. We have the DEXA scan at 9 a.m. And then I have posing at 11 a.m. And then we're gonna get a workout in. I have legs and then Brian and I are gonna have a nice little day after all that and probably go mini golfing and like cook a nice delicious dinner together so that's on the agenda for tomorrow i got my suit my suit is here but i'm not going to show you because it's a surprise so i'm so excited it's gorgeous it's beautiful holy shit it's real but i'm gonna stop talking i am gonna make my last meal of the night which is just some alexia's hash um, if i remember the store it is It's not Alexia's hash anymore. I am gonna figure out what my next meal is because Brian just had the rest. I didn't eat it. It was gone yesterday. Brian ate the hash yesterday. I'm going so, out right now. It's okay. I'm eating. I'm just gonna make some potatoes because a potato is a potato and that will be my last meal. So I'm gonna go now. too and the results were pretty freaking awesome I think um, let me just show you and I'll talk you through it because I'm comparing it to the last time I was here in July when I was in my reverse diet eating 303 carbs so let me show you the stats so this one is my July this one was today so let's talk body fat percentage last time i was 13.9 in july when i was bulking which is really good for for a reverse diet and this time i am 10.2 so the caliber that i got done um t told me i was about 8.6 so this is more accurate so i'm glad i got this done and so i'm 10.2 percent body fat So total mass is my fat and my muscle combined. So I'm just gonna really talk about fat mass and my lean mass. Lean mass is my muscle. So in total, I have right now 94.9 pounds of muscle. Last time I had 98 pounds of muscle. So I lost, I lost a little bit of muscle, but um, not even, not like, you know, not that much at all and I had 16.7 pounds of fat on my body in July now I have 11.4 pounds of fat in my body so I lost fat lost a little bit of muscle but that is normal I'm okay with that I was expecting that so in my arms I went down a little bit in everything except for my left leg I actually gained muscle in my left leg which is amazing because if you see back in July I had almost a two I had a two pound muscle imbalance my right leg was two pounds heavier I had two pounds more muscle in my right leg now they are symmetrical you guys I have been working so hard on single leg exercises trying to get my legs to be symmetrical for this show so I am so pleased with that so my arms um, I just I lost fat everywhere 
lost um, lost a very 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 little bit of muscle in my arms my legs um, I had 31.8 pounds of muscle so I just lost one pound of muscle in my legs um, because I, I lost lost muscle in my right gained in my left so overall I just lost a pound of muscle in my legs which is very good for me my trunk which is my abs my hips my butt um, I had I had five. Oh, I want to talk about fat really quick in my legs. So I had 7.8 pounds of fat on my legs. Now I have five pounds of fat on my legs in my abs. Let's talk about my abs. So last time I had 0.5 pounds of fat on my abs and 6.2 pounds of muscle. Now I have 0.3 pounds of fat in my stomach. She said that's absolutely crazy. 0.3 pounds of fat in my stomach and 5.9 pounds of muscle, which is a good amount of muscle in my abs. I'm pretty pleased with that. And then gynoid, that is my my butt. So I have, last time I had, let's see. Um, I had 2.9 pounds of fat on my butt and my hips. Now I have 1.3 pounds of fat on my butt and my hips. Um, I had 15.5% muscle or 15.5 pounds of muscle in my butt. Now I have 14.6. So it just went down just a little bit, about a pound. Um, so that's not bad at all. And yeah, those are my stats. Uh, my visceral fat, I have zero. <laughs> I have zero pounds of visceral fat, which is outstanding. I'm so happy about that. So um, overall, I'm pretty pleased. I... My weight is 111.1. Last time my weight was 119, I almost about 120. So my scale this morning told me I was 109.6, but this is my true, true weight. So 111.1. And yeah, I'm, I'm honestly pretty happy with all the fat that I've lost. I've lost about five pounds, a little over five pounds of fat and uh, lost lost uh, about three pounds of muscle. So overall, pretty pleased. Brian got his done too. Mm -hmm. How annoying is Brian? How annoying are you? <laughs> Why? Why? He's so annoying? fucking annoying because this guy, he needs to do a post about this. He need, I mean, he's accepting clients right now. Um, I think he, he had six spots available. I think there's only four spots now available for his coaching for the month of March. Um, he only accepts a limited amount of people because he does have a full-time job and he wants to serve people as best as he can. So this guy over here lost fat, gained muscle. Yes, I did. So that's uh I lost 12 pounds of fat and gained four pounds of muscle since July. Isn't that crazy? Lost 12 pounds of fat and gained four pounds of muscle since July. Pretty, Pretty cool. amazing. What was your body fat percentage? Uh according to the DEXA scan, it was nine percent. What were you last time? 14, I think it said. Nine percent. Hey, that's actually pretty good. I'm ten and you're nine. Men are usually a lot lower than women. Yeah. So that's pretty impressive, I think, for me. Yeah, you're killing it. What do you think? I think it's incredible. I think that's impressive. I'm, I'm okay with that. Ten percent body fat eight weeks out. That's healthy. I'm glad I'm not lower because I don't want health risks. So, and I'm eating a lot. So, I'm going to give my coachy all this info. Ready, babe? We are not filling the gym today. Are you filling the gym today? No, babe. Ugh. That moment when you realize all you really have are the orange left and you hate orange. There we go. What's wrong, babe? Oh, I don't want to go anywhere. Listen, you have to tell yourself you want to. Let's get hype. Where's the music at? Play I'm some. Getting, Where are you? <laughs> I'm getting naked, so don't film Ooh la la. Brian has Alexia's hash for his burger on the side. And you know what? I I told you guys that I was gonna be at the that I would see you at the gym, but I came back because when you're not feeling like the gym, sometimes you just gotta fake it in your own mind because you're telling yourself over and over again that you don't wanna go to the gym. But like, 
it's fine. Like, we're fine. I actually have energy. Like, I'm not as tired as I'm really telling myself that I am. So, I literally do this during the week in the mornings because I like to work out. And this is probably why I'm not feeling the gym right now is because it's 3.30. And I usually work out in the a.m. after breakfast. And I'm, like, super energized at that time. So now, like, I've already posed. My body's sore from posing. And I'm full. And I'm just, like, I wish I could just sloth on the couch. But you know what? We are going to have a burger after. And then we're going to sloth on the couch after our workout. And it's all going to be great. We're going to have such a great workout. Right, babe? Yeah. Yeah. If you need a Spotify playlist, go to my Spotify. It's my me, my me. C Lassa 330, C L A S A 330, gym updated. It's the most random shit you'll ever see in your life. But this song, I don't know what's wrong with me. I was trying to get it out I, I go ham in the gym. I don't know the words. I don't know the words yet fucking challenge me though I rap like no other you would be surprised all right all right all right all right I'm gonna stop procrastinating I might just even start drinking my pre-workout now because uh I just gotta get hype gotta get hype you guys I'm procrastinating okay I've been talking for almost four minutes I will really see you at the gym this time and I'll be killing it and I'll be loving it and it's gonna be great the night kind of I don't even know what time it is seven o'clock just got back from five guys did my little walk it is freezing in Florida right now oh my god but I wanted to do a little this is not a grocery haul in any way but I just wanted to show you what I got for tomorrow's meal prep because I will not be vlogging it but I will be doing it all on Instagram so by the time this is out you ha will have already seen but I got tilapia. First time in prep, I'm breaking out the tilapia. Um, I got it from Fresh Market because Paul, my coach, told me to try to have a similar week that I did like the week prior and I had cod. And I usually okay. get my seafood from Costco because it's just more affordable, but ugh, I don't know. The frozen fish just yeah. isn't as good as the fresh. I just, I'd rather spend the money on it. So we got almost two pounds yeah. um, and it was 15 bucks. That's like the price of the Costco stuff anyway and I always use all of it. So I thought it was affordable. Uh, tilapia, there's people, it's, they have, tilapia has such a bad rap, but I'm gonna make it delicious with this. Is this it? Yeah, this, okay, so I go to Fresh Market and of course I have to scan the seasoning aisle just cause I'm addicted. Oh but I got this Rufus Teague 
rub. It's a fish rub. I don't know, from Fresh Market. And um, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try it on my tilapia and I'm gonna sa saute it in the pan. And it's gonna be delicious. I've never had an issue. I've always liked tilapia. So and if, you, if you don't like tilapia, maybe you're just not making it right. I don't know. If it goes well this week, then I'll do another meal prep with it so I can show you how you know I make it. And then usually we do get chicken from Costco as well. But I'm a weirdo and I saw these chicken tenders and I just like the tenders. You know, they're little chicken tenders. I can make I can make fried, air fried tenders in the air fryer. So I'm just gonna have fun with that this week. And then I got this another spice rub, of course. This is not what I got. Brian must have got this. He got a Stonewall Kitchen Texas rub. Smoky Texas rub. And I am not going to use this because there's no macros on it. But that doesn't mean that there's no carbs because the ingredients, there's brown sugar and molasses in here. And those are things that have carbs. So I thought I got another seasoning. I guess I didn't. I don't know, I guess I didn't, but I got this hot sauce. Peri, Nando's Peri Peri sauce. I never had it before, but zero carbs, zero everything, so I'm gonna give it a try, I'm excited. I love hot sauce. I'm gonna lay on the couch while he picks a movie. I'm gonna plan my menu for the week in my fitness pal. I always plan my menu for the week. If you follow me, you know that I do this, but I'm gonna say it a million times. You need to be prepared because tracking your macros can get really annoying if you track as the day goes on. You'll either eat too much and then be left with nothing or be left with the most random macros that you have no idea what to do. Um, so my the biggest tip of my freaking life is to pre-plan your week, your Monday through Friday. Pre-plan it and think about when you're hungriest so you can be satisfied at that time um, and get full. So if you know that like you're not really that hungry like for lunchtime but you're always so hungry and want to pick on everything for dinner then give yourself a little bit more food at dinner and be full you know so think about when you're hungry think about your days and try to I would really try to evenly distribute everything so you have nice filling meals as of recently I have actually switched from eating five meals a day to four meals a day I wait a little bit longer now to eat breakfast I do not intermittent fast at all I did it once and I hated how I felt I felt terrible on when I did intermittent fasting and I actually was super bloated so I do not like intermittent fasting but I wake up at seven and I usually eat around nine 9:30. Um, I usually start making breakfast at nine, and the reason why I switched from five to four meals is because I just wanted to give it a try. I was finding myself like super hungry because my five meals had to be smaller, and now that I'm having four meals, they're bigger, so I'm fuller longer, and like I'm not constantly obsessed with what time it is to see like when I can eat my next meal. I'm just kind of like living and then when I'm hungry I eat again. So it's been really nice. So um if you currently are feeling starving, maybe switch up your stuff and have bigger meals but less often. That's really helped me. So just want to give you that little update. And yeah, today was a busy, crazy day. We are so dead. Brian and I, we are like I am so sore. My body just feels swollen. Like I actually feel swollen. I really wanted to soak in an Epsom salt bath, but we are out of Epsom salt. So tomorrow maybe, but now it's time to plan my menu for the week and go watch a movie. Last meal of the night will be some oatmeal. My favorite. I have oatmeal every single day. I can't live without it. I love it, Brian. I got Brian hooked. Brian wasn't eating oatmeal and he was like starving. And I'm like, you need to, he was eating pancakes and waffles. And I was like, stop eating that shit because it is going through you in two seconds. Try to have oatmeal. And now it is like, I, that's my favorite time of the day is when I have oatmeal and protein powder and cashew butter. Sprinkle of salt. So good. So I'm gonna stop rambling because it's been nine minutes. So bye, Christina. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to see more of my prep, when you like a video, that means I know that you liked what I did in that video. So it helps me out a lot. So please like and of course subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.